Hello out there and welcome to English Teacher Plays. You're, we're here with Infinite Skyline, um, which oh, I already did about 10 minutes worth of playing, which I was trying to record. Man, this, my computer messing up has really ruined my ability to record, but I'm still doing it. I'm still trying. I'm still here. So we're going to play. I've already done some stuff. Um, we're going to play this dog fight, which I wasn't able to beat the first time. And I only just discovered how to shoot. So you can shoot, uh, you can fly. Yeah, I got a couple hits there. Nice. Yeah, and you can crash. Yeah. We gotta stick with this guy as close as we can. I don't know if we can actually kill him though. I, I honestly have no idea. I wasn't able to last time. Um, and I actually wasn't even able to keep up with him, so I just crashed. Because of course I did. We do appear to have infinite ammo, which is good. But he does seem to be able to go a lot faster than we can. But that's fine. Yeah, the controls are really weird. Um, and they, they, uh, take into account whether you're, uh, where, where the, where you're looking to, you know, it's tank controls. So like, like that. See, I was pressing hard right, but because my camera was in the wrong spot, it didn't work. Okay. Turn to nighttime. Great. I don't, I don't know why, but whatever. So we're gonna go do the time, oh my god, what? No. So, oh, this is something that I was recording before, but I didn't get to, this, I didn't, I didn't get to show you guys. Oh dude, do I have a rocket pack? I do, I have like a, I have like an individual rocket pack, that's cool. Okay. Let's go check out these ships over here. One thing that's kind of creepy, we'll go down here and we'll look at all these people. And the people are just simulcrums. Simulcra. Whatever. It's nice to know that I have a jetpack. And the, and the cars which look kind of cool from above are just white lines and like that's fine but um I can definitely see I can see them now so I see if you go up high enough you could kind of go like oh yeah that's like cars but like now I've seen it yeah so let's um oh my god let's cancel the mission Let's go do the time trial, because that's what I was doing before. Um, the menus here are absolutely terrible. Just saying. Oh, did I beat that one? Okay. I definitely crashed, but whatever. We're going to do this one anyway. So we got to go through the hoops. Yep. I think the trick is not to touch the right stick. Just play with the left stick. That must be the trick, right? That's gotta be it. Oh yeah, and if you miss, if you miss the loop, you've gotta go all the way back. It doesn't penalize you or whatever, you have to go back and get it. Um, which I always find in these sorts of games is like, just terrible, you know? I'd, I'd way rather be penalized like two seconds or whatever, than have to go back. Okay, yep. So I'm doing much better on this one than I did with the, the last one. The last one was like an airplane. Um, and I was terrible at it. I was actually terrible. At least you don't have to make it through the loop here. You can just kind of randomly drive. As long as you're nearby the loop, it seems to be okay. 
Oh, jeez. Okay, got it. I, I was giving myself a little bit more more gas. There we go. And th so that's what the rocket fuel does. It means you can go faster. Which is cool. You know, that's fairly cool. I mean, there's a lot to like about this game. Uh, the menus and the weird way that uh, stuff controls when you uh, move the camera are not things to like. Those are the opposite of things to like. They're things to dislike. See, I missed that. So now I have to go back. When you miss stuff, you've got to go back. Oh my god. Oh my god. See, this is what I'm talking about with the freaking camera. The camera is terrible! Okay, there we go. Ah! Okay. Okay. Yeah, so once, you, once you've once messed up the camera, it's actually pretty hard to get it to go... Get your thing to fly straight. Um, oh my god. <sighs> You'd think a game like this would have worked out the camera controls better, but that's fine. It's okay. It doesn't have to be perfect, you know. It just needs to be serviceable, and it kind of is. It definitely kind of is. Oops, I got that one. Yep, I thought I missed it, but that's fine. See, and there's only, um, there's only enough music to last for, uh, for like a certain amount of time so after a while you're just sort of flying in silence which is a bit less interesting I'll admit you know I'll admit that I'm a little bit less enjoying this just because there's no music so we're just flying around and some jet fuel oh no we didn't fly right over it so I guess we don't get it oh well We'll just keep flying. Yep. We beat it. Nice. Right. So... 216.97. That's me. New user 430442. Seems weird that they wouldn't use my Steam name, but that's okay. Alexandre SK, I'm gonna go ahead and guess, is the developer. I miss zero rings. Every ring adds three seconds to your final time. Right. Except for that if you don't get the ring, then the next one doesn't light up, so you have to go back for it. That's dumb. Well, whatever. Um, let's... So there's a free fly. Let's go do that. Oh. Uh, what? Um, oh my god. Okay, so, despite having controller support, it doesn't like the controller. Excuse me. Okay. Yeah, it really doesn't like the controller. So I can turn it off. Okay. Let's go free fly. Let's get in there and free fly. Okay. So it's just that. Is there another thing I can fly, or just the one thing? So these are all locked. You need to unlock the chase to unlock this copter. Okay. Gotcha. Okay, well let's just go get in the one that we can get in. Nope. All right, and off we go on some free flight. Let's go fly really close to the water. Yeah. Do we get any water effects? No, nothing. Oh, we're gonna fly in the water. Nice. Now we get the music. Nice. Okay. Then what? 
Then we have to go all the way back out to the, uh, to the main menu, which seems dumb. Surely you would, like, why would I, why would you not just respawn me? That's, that's all I'm saying. But yeah, okay. There we go. Let's go for a fly along that road. Oop. Okay. There we go. Let's see how far we can fly. I'm going to fast forward because I'm just going to fly straight. We're just flying straight. Okay, so does that mean I found the edge of the map, or am I stuck? Looks like I'm stuck. Okay, so when it says infinite skylines, it means not infinite, but that's fine. It doesn't I? You know, I only I only wanted to go have a look because it said it was infinite. Now that I know that it's not infinite, I can stop worrying about it. Got a skybox up there. I'm wondering how high we can go, though. And how far out to the right we can go. Max altitude reached. Okay. So we're at the max altitude for a helicopter in this game, I guess. Because there's only so high that the air can chop, you know? Chop, chop, chop. What is our altitude? I can't even see. Doesn't seem, like, very far. Okay. Well, I'm gonna fast forward till we get to the next uh, interesting thing. Uh, so I found the corner as well. Okay. Well, that's less fun than I had anticipated. Okay. So, we found all the bits. There is, it looks like there's stuff out there, but it's obviously not really there. It's obviously fake. Fake, fake news. Um, yeah, I mean, we've probably seen enough, right? We did some of all the different things. So we'll just, uh, We'll just go go ahead and um, go look at the description as I as I as I crash us. I want to see how long it takes to go straight down. Straight down, and then I'm gonna base jump off of the tallest building that I see. I want to base jump off of. This building. Here. Yeah. This one is getting base jumped off of. Oh yes. I do like this ability to get out of the uh to get out of it. Here we go. People actually do this for fun. They uh, they get out here and they they take a selfie of themselves, of course, and then they're like, "Wee!" Meow. Uh, and now we're down on the road where there are cars. We're standing in the middle of the road. No. It's gonna take us forever to, to get up. Yeah, let's go look at the description, eh? All right, Infinite Skyline is an open world helicopter simulation indie game with a focus on racing, dogfight, and exploring set in a huge city. You can choose several types of missions or just free fly with one of the several helicopters. Um, developer is Alexander SK. Yep, so he's the one that's on the leaderboards there. Um, unique mega city with lots to explore. I mean, it's okay. 
It's okay. Yeah, the city's cool. I mean, I'd like there to be more interesting things to do. Because um, at the end of the day, you know, like it's more interesting flying around, say, a game like GTA. Um, because there's tons of stuff to do. Um, this one's sort of just fly, you know, which is cool. But whatever. Um, dog fights and chases and time trial races. Haha, <laughs> it rhymes. Or just go into free fly and explore and race through the city. Types. Five types of... Us missions and more in the updates. Okay, the whole game was made in house by only one person. The code, the models, the city, and the textures. No purchased assets except sounds and music, making it a real solo indie game. Okay, um, was formally released in alpha as Mega City Copter outside of Steam. It's been reviewed by one curator, and it currently costs seven dollars fifty-five New Zealand, so about five dollars US. Um. Yeah, it's actually pretty good. You know, the the planes fly, interestingly. Um, the weird tank controls, I'm probably not a big fan of, but that's fine. It doesn't have to be perfect, you know what I mean? It doesn't have to be exactly perfect. Um, let's see if Alexander SK has made anything else. Nope, this is the only game. Um, and that's fine. Uh, you know... We can't ask for the moon for, for you know, what is an, essentially an indie game. Um, I think it'd be cool if, uh, yeah, I don't know. Like I said, the controls are really off-putting, but, like, that might be on purpose. It's a lot of vectored and directional aircraft things going on, so, yeah, yeah. It can get better, is what I'm saying. This can definitely be better, um... But I've absolutely played way worse games for way more expensive prices. Um, and, you know, at the current price, I'd say, hey, give this a shot. If you're interested in uh, flight simulator games, uh, you know, set in cool cities or whatever. So, uh, that's it. That's all I'm going to say. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. And if you want to check this game out, it's on Steam. It's new today. And if not, then I totally understand. I probably won't play it too much more. Um, just because, I mean, I do like flight simulators, but I definitely like there to be a little bit more to do than just sort of like, you know, tank control around. So, um, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Class dismissed.